all right so what is going on today youtube back with the third duel of the day and as you can see we already lost the rock paper scissors so that's not good but look at the hand oh my god is it busted is it busted it is busted mcbusted but we are going up against spell books which are very very serious deck that can be upcoming now i'm not going to say serious but i can see people playing it because they did get a couple of boosts um uh to the i mean they didn't get a couple but they got that one card which is pretty much you know they can search out and keep using and getting draws and stuff like that so we might see this deck in an upcoming format and then thanks to links you know a lot of other decks uh ha have to get hampered but royal chalice is a deck i can suspect suspect do being like the best deck of the format because man i've, I've been testing against my brother He's playing World Chalice and he's just getting back in and Jesus Christ. He like if he if he can play with it, I can imagine with it. Somebody who's testing with it nonstop or been playing for the, like the last couple of uh basically this whole format or this whole year, they what they can do with the deck. But as you can see, he starts off with the um crescent that gets him to a uh, knowledge. Then he gets activate the secrets that he already had to search. Uh the the blue boy, blue boy gets the master. Master is going to get him the fate. He drops the priestess. He draws two with the knowledge and he sets one. And as you can see, I draw another Mizuki, which I'm thinking, all right, we got game here, folks. We have official game. He's not going to use the fate to do anything. That's what I'm going on in my head. I mean, I'm going to twin twist to get over the fate. He's not going to do anything. And then he activate fate to book it face down. And I think the reason why he did that is because he's seen the Mizuki and he knows that Master pops only faced up. So that is a bummer we're not going to be able to get game this turn we, we could have really put it on him we could have matched out uh it's easily we easily had six thousand we easily had six thousand that's shogun saga and um spirit master we easily had six thousand um on board all we need is um uh, all we need is that extra two thousand so as you can see here, i'm going to start off with the fullest burial because here i'm thinking i could either send smith i can either spin send goblin zombie or I can send Gozuki and I can get any of those plays to go off. If I send Goblin Zombie, I can normal summon Smith, uh, not Smith, but normal summon Solitaire, tribute to Goblin Zombie to special summon Spectral Sword in defense mode, uh, get that effect to go into a, and to get to search anything. I can search a Slayer if we had the spell card. I can search a Gozuki in our hand. Um, I can search a Spirit Master, but that wouldn't be a good play. I could send Smith to go ahead and get a free search, but that may not even be the greatest place so i end up sending gozuki because gozuki can get us where we need to be because gozuki can also send another mizuki so it's pretty much like sending two cards to the graveyard for the price of one which we're going to be doing right now we're going to use gozuki's effect and here i'm thinking all right what can i send i can send i can send literally anything because when gozuki gets sent from the field to the graveyard he's going to allow me to get a, a get a extra summon which is going to pretty much further our plays sadly we didn't open up go food because if we did man we had some plays to do so here we're going to start off and we're going to send smith right now so here uh this is probably not the greatest play to do but we're the, my whole thinking was to get both of those banners so i can synchro and use both of them so i summon the uh solitaire so i can go ahead and synchro uh gozuki and the spectral sword to go to get us an extra draw to see what we can draw because if we draw a pre prep, if we draw a slayer, we can do some things. We can do a bunch of things. So we banish the Smith. We're going to get our draw, and we draw into the pre prep. And that is like, oh my God. Here I'm thinking, all right, I can just go ahead and get game because what can he do? I can definitely get over his card. All I can, I can spam eight thousand. But the whole problem is, if I do not, if I do not have game, and I go Shogun Saga and stuff, it's going to be a real bummer. So. I use uh, use Unizombie's effect to discard from my hand a special summon the Spectral Sword, and then I use Spectral Sword and the uh, Stardust Charge Word to go into our first Omega of the game. And because we do have the Origin, we can definitely use that to banish uh, Solitaire and Gozuki to special summon again. And now I could have banished uh, what's the name? I could have banished Spectral Sword, but I don't. I wasn't going to be able to get it back. So. Uh, I don't think that was a good play because I was going to get the Smith back. That was the whole play. So now I can go into my battle phase, uh, attack with Slayer because once again we still have haven't used Mizuki. I mean Unizombie's second effect we sent in the graveyard, so we can attack with everything. 
so we're going to hit him with 52 i think 5200 and uh, what's the name? Uh, wait, what is that? Fifty-two hundred? What is that? That's twenty. No, that's fifty-one hundred. Okay, so I think forty-one hundred. I mean, fifty-one hundred uh, and double Omega is pretty good. You know, so even if we don't get the OTK. So main phase two, use Unizombie's effect to target Omega to bump it up to uh, a level nine. Then I use Omega's effect to go ahead and banish one card from his hand. I end up hitting a full of prophecy, which makes me feel like a fucking fool because I hit the like, the worst card that could possibly be in his hand, and I hit it. Um, so actually it may be a good card. I don't even know. I don't even know what the hell it does. So use, I uh, go into another Omega and then I search with Smith. And so now I'm thinking, all right, what the hell can he do? Not only do we have an Omega, not only do we have a spectral sword in the graveyard, not only do we have, I believe one or two Mizukis in the graveyard. We also have a swallow slash and slayers effect. So I'm thinking we're good, but don't forget these are spell books. They are very good. They can come back because they plus a lot. They search a lot. They can get some shit going. So he's checking his graveyard, checking his banish. Uh, I'm waiting for him to activate anything so I can just hit this Omega to go off. And I'm waiting for him to do something. Uh, so <clears throat> playing a little bit of waiting game uh, right now. So he summons the blue boy. I automatically, as soon as I seen the blue boy, I activate the Omega, which I probably shouldn't have did in hindsight because... Uh, if he had a fate, that would have been very bad for us because then we probably would have been forced to use the Slayer. Um, or we would have, you know, forced to, uh, yeah, we would have been not forced to use the Slayer, but we would have been forced to use the Swallow Slash and that would have not ended up too good. So, end up hitting Eternity out of his hand with Omega. And so now the Blue Boy is resolving. So he's going to be able to get a search with the Blue Boy. And I believe he searches another Eternity. And I'm thinking. All right, what is his plan here? Because uh, I, I I probably would have got into uh, I probably would have used uh, what's the name Blue Boy to get a secret and then like continue to go and then he activates secrets and then like looks in his deck. So I'm thinking, oh, wait, wait, what the hell are you doing? So and then he uh, says that he's going to be using Library and I said, okay, that's fine because what I could have did was I could attribute it if he was using like Fate, I could have attributed in a uh, Pop Two, but he ends up using Crescent. Uh, and then I believe, let me see what he has. Yeah, he ends up using library and I said, that's fine. You know, I don't have any problem with that. Um, and I believe, what does he choose now? I think he chooses spell book of life. I think spell book of faith. And, um, I think, um, he picks some other card, but I, I do, I do believe I end up giving him life spell book of life. If I'm not mistaken, I do end up rolling that. And that's fine with me because I, I, I really don't care because with life even if he does bring back life we like i said we have the swallow slash so we could dodge whatever he tries to put back on board so he does end up getting the lot off the masters because he, uh, i rolled wrong and then he activates this card which i have never seen played uh not this card but <laughs> you guys are going to see it next uh oh no he actually gets his secret back okay so he activates the secrets and i believe this is where he searches the card that that card right there um, never seen that card played before, but that card is busted. He can mill the top two, uh, excavate the top two, and add any spell book to his hand, which is just ridiculous. So he adds the fate, and then I believe he proceeds to act activate the fate. And I think, uh, I believe that's what happens here, if I'm not mistaken. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Yes, he go. There you activate the fate. And since we do have the Swallow Slash, that is not a problem. We can easily uh, dodge it because we do have to banish for the effect as a cost. So he can banish our Swallow Slash where we do get Slayer. We do get to banish. And I believe that is the pretty much end of this. I don't think he does anything else. I think he ends up quitting because that's it. I mean, I mean there's nothing he can do. I'm getting a uh, double Omega back. I, I have my graveyard set up. I can look. I have double Mizuki. Uh, I have a Slayer that I'm going to be able to, I mean, I'm going to have an Origin I'm going to be able to search. It's just, it's just over from there. So, we did pretty good with that right there. I believe I'm going to send Hound Horde. Yeah, he does end up admitting defeat. So, yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, leave any suggestions you guys would like to see me play in the deck or change with the deck. Um, just let me know. And if you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask is you guys to click an ad and that'll be enough for me. So thank you and I will see you guys tomorrow.